At least one in six people in England are at risk from flooding from rivers in the sea. Sea levels will continue to rise and the frequency and severity of floods and storm surges will only make this worse. We need to be better at planning and adapting to the unavoidable impacts of a changing climate and maximising opportunities for at-risk communities. This will ensure that when flooding and coastal change happens, it causes much less harm to people, much less damage and can ensure that life gets back to normal much quicker. We must continue to do what we have been doing, building and maintaining reliable flood defences. But in the face of a changing climate, we cannot expect to build our way out of future climate risks. It's therefore vital that we embrace a broad range of resilience actions. This includes nature-based solutions that can help slow the flow and store floodwaters. It involves working with planners and developers to avoid inappropriate development in high flood risk areas. And it's about ensuring we provide timely and effective forecasting and warning to help communities be better prepared to flooding incidents. Creating climate resilient places lies at the heart of our flood and coastal erosion risk management strategy. Its vision is for a nation ready for and resilient to flooding and coastal change today tomorrow and to the year 2100. We know we cannot do this on our own and so we've come together with a wide range of partners to create a roadmap that delivers practical actions for achieving our ambitions. Responding to climate emergency requires innovation. Through the Flood and Coastal Resilience Innovation Program, local authorities are leading on 25 pioneering projects to tackle the threat of flooding and coastal change. Each project will help communities to improve their flood resilience from various sources of flood risk including rivers, sea, surface water and groundwater while collecting evidence on cost and benefits to inform future investment. Here in the boroughs of Barnet and Harrow, we are looking to implement natural flood management solutions in an urban environment to reduce the impact of flooding and pollution to our water courses for the benefit of communities and environment. For homes that are flooded, it will always be better to build back better than merely restore people to the way they were before. Floodry has been working with the insurance industry to offer build back better by increasing insurance payouts for those properties that are flooded so that resilience measures can be installed. We want to see a big increase in the installation at a property level of flood resilience measures in those areas that need it. And that includes things like raising the plugs halfway up the wall, raising your white goods off the floor, waterproof plaster, suitable flooring, uh, self-closing air bricks and flood doors, and many, many other measures. And these kind of things can significantly reduce the amount of time that people are out of their homes and also ensure that it reduces the damages and enables a faster recovery. 9,000 kilometres of our coast are at risk of sea flooding, erosion and landslip. The Coastal Group Network are actively working with the Environment Agency to support coastal communities and economies across the English coastline. This includes investing in maintaining strong coastal defences, and supporting those communities where the scale and pace of coastal erosion means they will need help to transition and adapt to a changing climate. One of our top priorities will be to ensure our shoreline management plans reflect the policies and actions we need to manage both current and future coastal change. Natural flood management offers us many win-wins. By working to reinstate and restore natural processes we can increase flood resilience in a way that benefits England's wildlife and bolsters nature recovery. Natural flood management solutions that restore habitats and landscape features such as wetlands, woodlands and meadows can also help us sequester carbon and improve water quality and drought resilience. Naturally we will be working with local authorities and the Environment Agency to develop local nature recovery strategies which will harness the power of nature to reduce the risk from flooding and coastal change. Farmers and landowners are already working hard to adapt their businesses to make sure they are more resilient to flooding and coastal change. The National Farmers Union is working with the Environment Agency to, to establish a rural resilience partnership focused on helping farmers and growers adapt to a changing climate. 
Together, we will develop ways to further enhance farming practices to improve flood resilience in rural areas alongside sustainable food production. National Highways knows how disruptive and expensive it can be, not only for road users, but for those living next to the road network when our roads flood. That's why we're investing in projects that reduce flood risk and improve resilience to flood risk in the future. A good example of this is the A1M scheme we delivered in partnership with the Environment Agency near Catterick. Not only did we deliver a flood alleviation scheme that protected and mitigated flood risk on a very vulnerable part of the strategic road network, but we were able to reduce flood risk to 100 households in the local community of Catterick. That's why it's essential that infrastructure organisations build infrastructure today that reduces flood risk and improves resilience to flood risk tomorrow. Only a third of people living in areas of flood risk actually believe that their property is at risk of flooding. Yet we know all too well the misery that flooding can have on people's lives and the long-term impacts it can have on mental health and well-being, amongst many other issues. Research shows, for example, that flood survivors are 50% more likely to face mental health problems such as stress and depression. It's vital that communities and local flood groups are empowered to have a greater say in how flood risk is managed. By implementing the roadmap with our partners, we're enhancing our resilience to future flooding and coastal change and enabling a greener, cleaner future.